Hey love bugs, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ashley B. Deck and today we'll be doing a start to finish beginner friendly install. We're rocking with Nadula today and they sent this gorgeous bob over. So if you're interested in getting all the tea, keep on watching. So for starters, this is the box. I'll show you all the packaging in just a moment. They left a nice quick motivational situation. So I wanted to share it with you guys. This is the wig straight out of the box. And as you guys can see, she looks so good she's nice and healthy she said as a center part this is a 100 human hair super soft lace wig it's 10 inches in length and we are working with a 13 by 4 lace wig so this is what she looks like on and that elastic band is definitely giving us a little extra support i'm going to pull the hair back and begin the process of removing the excess lace i'm going to start with the lace around the ears and i'm also just trying to find the perfect location for my wig to sit you can bring it forward you can move it back that is the beauty of wigs you can really do whatever you like so before we bond her down or even remove the rest of the lace let's go ahead and just thin out the hairline you guys know majority of the time i won't do this and today i just felt like i was just in the mood i highly recommend that you always customize your wigs to your liking whether it be plucking or tweezing the hairline whether it be giving it a custom cut bleaching the knots whatever you see fit i highly recommend you doing so for me i just wanted to open up the hairline just a little bit more I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to do baby hair at this point, but I just knew I wanted the hairline to be super snatched. Now I'm going to begin the process of uh, bonding the wig down. I'm going to use my Eben. I use the yellow jar. This happens to be my favorite. I also like the red a lot and I've been through like two jars of each. I'm going to just go ahead and apply a generous amount around the entire hairline, secure that with my melt belt and allow that to air dry while we work on the rest of the hair. Next, we're doing the dynamic duo. I love to use a good wax stick around my parting. This is just going to help to flatten the lace, especially when you pair it with a hot tool like a hot comb. This one here comes from my brand BDACBD.com and I have it on a 500 degree setting, which is very, very hot. I highly recommend that you do this process before you even bond the wig down. You can remove the wig and put it on a wig head and that will make it a lot easier to just really, really press and get in there with that heat and it definitely won't burn you and it's just a lot more safe that way if you do do this i highly recommend also using a heat protectant to protect your hair um, of course this is a wig so you can get away with adding heat but just using heat excessively especially over time will definitely manipulate the hair in a negative way so i just wanted to let you guys know wear your scarf so you don't have to put too much heat use your heat protectant and do all that you can to make your wig last as long as possible so we're ready to go ahead and remove the melt belt i did go ahead and blow dry the hair on a cool setting just to help it dry a little bit faster because of course the customization and styling process was very fast so i didn't give it enough time to dry naturally um i love the lace on this one again i did go ahead and tweeze out the hairline and that's just an option but you definitely did not need to do that once you remove the lace you go in with a nice light layer of that same product and this is just going to make sure that um, wherever you cut the lace is also still bonded down because cutting the lace can kind of um, also kind of make it lift at the very tip if you will so we went ahead and fixed that to make sure it's perfect so this is my favorite type of baby hair it's just two swoops one on each side a little bit away from the parting kind of like I use the arch of my eyebrow and beyond as like my marker because I don't want it too close together and I find that this little indent like was the perfect section I sectioned out the hair I wanted to use and then I went in and just pressed out that hairline really good I want it to be really straight really neat really sleek and slick down for a really good like growing out of the scalp look now I'm going to go ahead and curl the hair, the baby hair you will, um, with a pencil flat iron away from my face. And then I'm going to add a little bit of um, edge control at the base. You don't want to apply it all the way throughout if you want it to be wispy. And then I went ahead and decided to cut it down a little bit more for a perfect look. And then we just swoop. It was very simple and easy to do. The hot comb definitely helps to make sure the area around the baby hair is flawless. Now this is a look at what it looks like with baby hair versus without. Out. I know you guys love without so um, you can definitely skip this step 
look how flat the hairline looks and it's just like really really melted and blended in so i really love that for me and it just shows how great nadula hairs uh nadula's hair hair is i'm going into tint the lace and i'm just using a foundation powder in a shade similar to my complexion i believe this one is a little bit darker but close enough um, I like it to go darker versus lighter and then obviously we like it to be a little bit more cool tone You never want to use something that's like a red tint if you're talking about Mac You would never want like a NW because it might be a little bit too like red or orange and just give a brassy vibe And then we went in with a concealer along the parting. This is really really gonna make it pop and we're pretty much done. I love the way it came out. I love the length, the texture. Everything about this one was amazing. Bobs are perfect for the spring and summer season. I personally love them all year around though. And then this is the packaging. I wanted to show you the goodies they provided. This is a robe and a melt belt. And then as well as the dust bag. And then they give us this goodie pack that has all kind of goodies like your melt belt, this little kabuki brush, wig caps, all of the above. And don't forget those lashes in there and that's pretty much it this one comes in a 130 percent density or 150 you can get it as a tea part or a 13 by 4 lace wig you guys already know we have the 13 by 4 rocking but i just want you guys to know that there are options if you want to switch it up i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go here thank you guys so much for watching and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches